Hey there, third grade. How's everybody doing today? My name is Mr. Enzi, math teacher at Wedgwood Elementary School, and we are ready for our very first remote learning math lesson of the school year. You're going to need some things before you watch this video. The first thing you're going to need is your math journal. So you should have your math journal at home. Make that available because you will need that for today's lesson. You are also going to need the math mat that has your number grid in it. So hopefully you received a whole bunch of sheets and they can fit into a sheet protector that you should have been given. And once you put it in that sheet protector, you can take a dry erase marker. You can write on that sheet protector and then you can erase it with a tissue or an old sock. But today, in our lesson, you will also need your number grid sheet protector. So make sure you get those available before you continue to watch this video. And one other thing, if you ever fall behind or if you want to try some problems on your own, go ahead and hit the pause button on the video because that will give you a chance to either catch up or to try some math on your own. So let's get started as I shrink myself into the corner. Today we are going to be doing grade 3 lesson 1.1, our first lesson of the year, and it is called number grids. And with our number grids, we are going to need our math mat number grid and math journal page 3. And when you are finished, you will be completing Homelink 1.1. So let's take a look at our number grid. And let's try and find some numbers on our number grid. Oh, let's see here. Notice that when we go across, our numbers count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and on and on and on. Our numbers count by ones when we go across. If I were going backwards, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we're counting backwards by one. And our number grid also is neat because since there are 10 numbers in a row, when I drop down, I count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And that's true for any number. 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95. So whenever I go down, I'm adding 10. And if I go up, I'm subtracting 10. Oh, let's see. 12 minus 10 is 2. So let's try a little practice on our number grid. Our number is 15. First thing that I like to do is I like to find the number 15 and circle it. Find me a number that is 20 more than 15. 20 more than 15. If you have your sheet protector, you can circle it right on there. 15 plus 20 more. Well, I have to tell you, my first graders would go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and they would be counting all the way up to 20. But in third grade, we know that when we go down our number grid, we're counting by tens. 10, 20. So what's 20 more than 15? Our answer is 35. Let's try a couple more. Oh, this time my starting number is 23. 23. Find 23 on your number grid. Give it a circle. I found it on mine. It's in my row where the 20s are. 23. Oh, this time let's find a number that is... 36 more than 23. 36 more than 23. Go ahead and hit the pause button. Try and solve this one on your own. 23 plus 36 more. 
All right, let's see how you did. 23 plus 36. Well, I'm going to do my 10s first. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 more. And I landed on the number 59. Thumbs up if you too landed on 59. All right, then let's try one more. This time my starting number is 46. So I want to go to where my 40s are, try and find 46 and give it a circle. This time I'm going to add 9 to 46. Hmm, what's 9 more than 46? Well, first graders would count every single box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But in third grade, we know that there's a shorter way, a more efficient way to do that. We can add 10, 46 plus 10 is 56, and then we can subtract 1. 46 plus 10 is 56, and then 10 minus 1 gives me the 9 more that I needed to find. And I landed on the number 55. Awesome job. So that was a quick review on how to use our number grids. Today, we're going to be working with our number grids to learn about something called the difference. Can you say that word with me? Difference. You may have heard that word before. Difference is the distance between two numbers. It also means the subtraction, the answer to a subtraction problem. So you probably have heard the word difference with subtraction. Find the difference. It's just the distance between two numbers. When we talk about difference, you will also hear the phrases how much more and how much less. That also means to find the difference, the distance between two numbers. Let's try on our number grids. This time we're going to use our newly learned vocabulary word. Find the difference between 13 and 47. Step one, I want to find these two numbers on my number grid and circle them. So go ahead and do that now. Find the number 13 and put a circle around it and find the number 47 and put a circle around that. If you need to hit the pause button, go ahead and do it. Thirteen is right in the line where the teen numbers are, and forty-seven is where the forties are. All right, once I have both of my numbers circled, I'm going to start at the number thirteen. And I have to count all the way up to 47. It's kind of like I'm playing a board game. I have to start hopping. Well, we don't want to hop every single number, right? We did that in first grade. In third grade, we want to hop our tens first. So let's see if we can hop some tens without passing 47. I like to start with the lower number, 13. So I'm going to hop 10. 20, 30, I don't want to hop any more by 10 because I'll pass my number. So now I'm going to go across and have to count by ones. So far, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. I can then write my answer, 34 is the difference between 13 and 47. It's the distance between the two. Let's try another. Find the difference between 39 and 58. Now this is a little bit different. It's a little bit different because, well, 
Let's take a look. Go ahead and circle the numbers 39 and 58 on your sheet protector. All right, I found 39 and I found 58. Now I want to find the difference, the distance between the two numbers. So let's go and check. If I want to count every single box as I hop, it'll take me a really long time. So I like to do my tens first and drop down. 10, 20. Well, that's great. I'm pretty close to my number. But now I have to go there. Is my answer 21? 10, 20, one more? Well, I'm not adding one. I'm ha I have to subtract one because I'm going backwards. So this becomes 39 plus 10 is 49 plus another 10 is 59. That's 20 minus 1. What's 20 minus 1? It's 19. Now, some students don't like to pass the number. I'll show you how this is. They'll go 10, and they won't go past the number because they like to just count up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So my answer is 19. Either way, I get the same answer. So you want to find the strategy that works for you. All right, let's try how much more and how much less. They mean exactly the same thing. Find the difference. Go ahead and try this one on your own. How much more is 63 than 22? Go ahead and hit the pause button and try and solve this problem. Hopefully the first thing that you did was to circle both of those numbers and then count your tens. 10, 20, 30, 40 plus 1 gives me 41. Thumbs up if you got 41. Let's try another. How much less is 22 than 63? Go ahead, hit the pause button and try to solve this one. So the first thing that I did was I circled my two numbers. And then I always like to start with my smaller number. And I'm going to count my tens first. 10, 20, 30, 40 plus 1 gives me 41. You should have noticed something about those two problems. They were the same exact numbers. How much more is 63 than 22? Our bigger number goes first. How much less is 22 than 63? The smaller number went first this time. But I got the same answer both times. Because how much more and how much less both mean the same thing. Find the difference. All right, awesome job. We are now going to be moving into our math journal, page number three. Go ahead and get that open. On page three, you're going to notice that at the top you have a number grid. I would still encourage you to use your sheet protector because you can easily write on it and easily wipe off. Okay, if you start to try and make all the circles and the countings on the number grid in the journal, sometimes it gets a little hard to read after all of your pencil marks. So let's see what we have to do first. At the top section, it says to use the number grid to help you solve these problems. Which number is less? 83 or 73? How much less? So you need to find your difference. Again, another problem with less. And then you have some problems, which is more? A greater number and how much more? Go ahead and do the first four problems.
So hopefully you were able to complete problems one through four. Here's the answers for you to check your work. Which number is less and how much less? And then we move to which is more and how much more. But all those problems are solved the same exact way. Now I didn't put the answer to number four. Which is more, 44 or 52? I want to do that one together. 44 or 52. So the first thing I do is I find both numbers, 44 and 52. Now the reason I want to show you this is because most third graders will put that the answer is 12. But that's not correct. If you want to go like this and count by tens, 10, I now have to count backwards and subtract 1 and then subtract 1 again. So it's 10, 9, 8. So the answer is 8. I could also count up from 44. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Either way, I get the answer 8. So that can be a tricky one. All right. Let's take a look at numbers 5 through 10. This time, find the difference. So it's the same thing. Use your sheet protector to help you. Remember to start by circling the number that is less and then the number that is greater and then find the distance. And I like to always start with that smaller number. Now I'm going to show you, um, put a little star next to number 8 is a tricky one. You might have to count backwards. And, oh, that's really the only tricky, tricky one that you should have. So, go ahead and complete 5 through 10. Hit that pause button. When you're done, come back and check your work. All right, let's see how you did. So the answers are all down here for you to check. If you got one wrong, I would suggest to try it out again to see if you can get the right answer. Oh, if you notice, I didn't do number eight yet. I want to do that one together. Number eight is 48 and 84. 48 is here. And 84 is here. And the reason that I wanted to do that is because it's a tricky one because it might involve counting backwards, depending how you do it. So let's try it. 10, 20, 30, 40, and now I have to count backwards. 39, 38, 37, 36. If I stopped before the number 84, it would look like this. 10, 20, 30, I don't want to go past it, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. I got the same exact answer no matter what strategy I used. So the answer to number 8 is 36. All right, my third grade friends. Your homework is to complete Homelink 1.1. You're going to notice that it is exactly the same thing that we have been working on in this lesson. Now, you will be able to find your Homelink in Schoology under today's assignment. So, go ahead, use your sheet protector, take your time and use all those strategies that we've learned because we will get to check your work when you hit that submit button. So go ahead, give it your best shot and show us how much you've learned today. All right, my mathematicians, have a great day. Hopefully we'll see everybody real soon.